this garden bed I got some radishes that well this guy's gone to seed so I don't need the seeds from this guy right now I'm gonna look at the nice purple color isn't it beautiful I think I'll take that and I'll have a snack later on with that anyway I got some more Dalve peas here these ones are coming along quite nicely nice and big I think they're gonna give about looks like they're gonna have about eight peas in there and then I got some corn growing here Let's see how it does this is a, probably a little too much for in here but you know what I really couldn't um, bring myself to give up these plants so I'm just gonna let them do their thing and go from there these are um, uh, what is it called butterbush squash butterbush squash I only got a few squash plants that actually uh, grew and thrived this year so I'm trying to keep them all alive as much as possible and there's a nasturtium in here uh, I'm not sure what those I think those are bee balm if I'm not mistaken and some mint there's some mint in here too I have a nice raspberry bush here and you see all the nice raspberries are growing I have other fruits the cherry tree no cherries yet but it's growing nicely now over on the uh, other fence though it's sunset sorry about that Sun here we got some more peas that look like crap here but they're growing so whatever you know and look at there's one here that almost looks like it's almost ready to go but this is where I got my um, zucchini growing here three types um, there's an Italian ribbed and then there's a couple of uh, there's one green one another green zucchini and then there's a uh, I think the end one over there is a uh, the summer squash the yellow zucchini some marigolds some more radishes there I don't think these ones are gonna do much so I think I'll just uproot them although at the end of the day if bugs eat those and don't eat anything else not such a bad thing now over here I have these are pole beans <coughs> excuse me these are pole beans I'm gonna have to uh, put some spikes next to them and with some strings so they can just grow up here I have already the uh, the screws right here that I can attach the strings to from there so that they will grow and then next to them I have uh, this is uh, oh, Triumph de Farce green bush beans they're getting nice and big lots of lettuces over here this is an iceberg birds poop everywhere here my goodness this is uh, Merveille de Quatre Saisons it's a beautiful lettuce look at how beautiful uh, gorgeous coloring on it nice tasting lettuce too uh, these are what are these Wando peas again a lot of my peas are getting ready to like give me lots of peas for fresh snacking or freezing and I have some romaine lettuce here another romaine this is an iceberg some parsley and then I have some more uh, pole beans here and then these are yellow beans a lot of people don't like yellow beans but they are like butter I love them they're so great tasting I got mint everywhere never put it in the ground because it spreads like crazy but put it in pots and you'll have it forever and along here I got some daisies and my fig trees there's a story to those my honeysuckle this is the best it's looked in years the aphids love this friggin thing so I really had to cut it back and you know uh, the soap and water thing each individual flower head here had to be like sprayed because of aphids it was unbelievable unbelievable but look at the end result looks gorgeous and some more flowers that I have no friggin idea what they are I think this is a tiger lily Toma tomatoes why do I keep going to call them tomatoes or potatoes Kim they're potatoes so potatoes doing great like look at these guys they're beautiful and nice and big and lush and it's like oh my god they're doing fantastic hopefully I get a great harvest out of them this year and then I have um, I have a uh, 
a pumpkin, some pumpkins I'm growing in a container. I had put them in the ground last year. This year decided I would do them in a container and I'm going to put them right here and then they'll spread out all over here. Fill in the space a bit. And uh, our apple trees didn't blossom this year. This one only has four apples right there. Very few blossoms this year. We're really disappointed. Same as our delicious one. Very few apples. So that's that. Well, that's that part of the garden anyway. Still more to show you. They look freaking fantastic, don't they? Anyway, we'll catch up with you soon enough. Ciao, ciao.